All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Jeremy. I'm uh, here representing the PACAC organization. Uh, just some housekeeping items for us this afternoon. Uh, you will be, uh, you are muted and your videos are off. You're able to ask questions through the Q&A option. Um, and the session will last up to 45 minutes. And after you have completed the session, you'll be able to obviously uh, sign up for additional sessions as well as re re review uh, any pre-recorded sessions or sessions that have already passed. And then this session itself will be available via video in just a few business dates. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Paramount State uh, and let them give you their presentation. Have a great afternoon. Hi, everyone. My name is Kayla from Paramount State University. I will go ahead and share my screen now. Okay. So good afternoon. My name is Kayla Asbury. I'm an admissions counselor at Fairmont State. And Jeremy, can I just confirm with you that I'm sharing my screen that has the Fairmont State Office of Recruitment on it? Okay, I'll start over. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Kayla Asbury. I'm an admissions counselor at Fairmont State University. I'm here to be your guide through the application, admission, and enrollment process. I or one of my colleagues in the Office of Recruitment will be glad to help you navigate choosing a major or making contact with one of our faculty members. If you're undecided on a major right now, don't worry. We have an advising and career center staff who will help you find your path. With that, let's go ahead and get started. At Fairmont State University, our greeting is welcome home. We hear it so often from our students, visitors, and alumni that the first time they stepped foot on campus at Fairmont State, they felt right at home. Not too big, but not too small. Founded in 1865, we're 155 years old this year. Fairmont State University is the oldest public institution in the state of West Virginia. Fairmont State was founded as a college to prepare teachers for their career in education. But since that time, we have become a comprehensive liberal arts and sciences institution. Our student enrollment is just under 4,000. And with a student to faculty ratio of 15 to one, the average class size is around 22 students. Fairmont State sits on a charming hilltop campus in Fairmont, West Virginia. Fairmont is located in the north central part of our state, and it's situated in a small town on a picturesque river. Because we're surrounded by nature, our campus community has unrivaled access to outdoor adventures like biking, hiking, camping, rafting, climbing, and skiing, all within a one to two hour drive. We're also close to major cities like Pittsburgh, Columbus, Baltimore, and Washington, DC. Our campus community regularly travels to these cities for access to world-class arts, shopping, dining, and professional sports. And a few other things I like to add in with this slide is that Fairmont's population is right around 18,000, and it's wedged right in between two larger cities. So between the three cities, there's plenty to do with shopping and dining. Fairmont State University sits on a 120-acre tree-filled campus. We have five residence halls with a wide range of living options from single suites to quads. All residents get fully furnished rooms, air conditioning and heat, wireless internet and high-speed ethernet at no additional cost, as well as laundry services at no additional cost. Because of our size, campus residents are never more than a short five to 10 minute walk from classes, dining, recreation, and athletic events. There's plenty of parking available, whether you live on or off campus. Students may have their vehicle on campus. Your parking permit cost is built into university fees, so you won't pay extra. The hub of activity on campus centers around the Falcon Center, 
which is home to our dining hall, Chick-fil-A, the Recreation Center, Starbucks, the Campus Bookstore, and several student services. To help you stay healthy, we have a Recreation Center packed with machines and freeways and dozens of cardio machines. The Falcon Center also has an indoor quarter mile track, a lap pool, fitness classes, and basketball courts. A student service that I like to point out on this slide is our Student Health Center, which is located on the third floor of our Falcon Center. It operates like an urgent care and it's free to students. With three traditional residence halls and two suite style residence halls, students have a variety of options on where they want to live on campus. Traditionally, our residence hall application opens up in the beginning of November for the following fall. Make sure to apply early. Fairmont State has a two-year residency requirement. So for your freshman and sophomore year, students need to live on campus. We also have four living and learning communities to join. At Fairmont University, a living learning community is a group of students with a common interest or major that live on the same floor of the same building. And a good reason to join one of these living learning communities is to meet other students and get involved on campus and apply what you're learning inside of class and apply it to outside of class and to challenge yourself to learn more. Our housing application opens in November and the contact information for our residence life office is listed on this slide. So our first residence hall that we'll talk about is Morrow Hall. And it's one of our traditional residence halls. It's home to our Thrive Living Learning Community, which focuses on health and wellness within the community. Marl Hall celebrated its 90th birthday only a few years ago, but residents can feel confident that careful renovation has brought the building up to today's standards. Originally, it was an all-female residence for Fairmont State's Teachers College, but this historical building now serves the diverse population of Fairmont State University as a traditional style residence hall. It's conveniently located near the center of campus, so it's often a really popular choice with our incoming residents. Morrow has kitchens that students can utilize in a study room. Pritchard Hall is home to our honors living learning community in close co collaboration with our honors program. And Pritchard Hall is often the site of unique events and approaches meant to further interest and abilities unique to the community. Some unique features of Pritchard Hall are extra storage with built-in storage units in every room that you can see in the top right image on this slide. And it also has kitchens and a study lounge. Pence Hall is one of our three traditional style living options. The residence hall is located close to our Feaster Center, our Falcon Center, our Field and Hunt Hut Hall, as well as the Education Building. And it's also home to our campus police office. It has the largest lobby and social space, closest parking, and it has mobile furniture so you can maximize space in your room. Bryant Place opened to students in 2004 and Bryant Place is a modern residence hall with suite style facilities. Residents of this building will find the community of a more traditional residence hall coupled with a more individual living space. It features single and double residence suites. Bryant Place offers flexible living situations for students. Each suite is shared by four roommates with a central common area and private bathroom facilities shared between them. Kitchens and private suites are also available in Bryant Place. And Bryant Place is also home to our NSI, or National Security and Intelligence, and Political Science Living Learning Communities. And the, this Living Learning Community is conveniently located to be close to a number of national security and political science professors, classrooms, and labs. University Terrace is a luxurious uh, residence hall facility divided into three buildings. And the complex features direct tunnel access to our practice field and walkways to our feaster center, and that's where our athletes train. University Terrace is our newest residence hall, and it's mostly reserved for upperclassmen, but suite style apartments and rooms are available to freshmen. Our dining plans cover the variety of food on campus. Our dining hall serves a delicious variety. Oh, sorry. 
Our dining hall serves a delicious variety for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you're in the mood for something special, you can visit the on-campus Chick-fil-A Chihuahua, which is a lot like the Chipotle or Starbucks. Students can choose their meal plan for the perfect amount of meals per week and use flex dollars at any of the restaurants on campus. Here's an idea of our meal plans. The most popular meal plan is our traditional 15 meal plan, which allows students to have three meals a day during the school week. It also provides students with $250 per semester that can be used in any of our on-campus restaurants. Fairmont State offers more than 50 undergraduate degree programs and over 100 programs of study. We offer several programs you can't find anywhere else in the state, including national security and intelligence, community health education, architecture, and the FAA Part 141 Flight School. You're sure to find a major you love, whether you're into science, the arts, business, education, helping people, keeping fit, learning history, outdoor adventure, or any of the other dozens of academic programs Fairmont State has to offer. And because of our size, you can get real world hands-on experience on state-of-the-art equipment sooner than you might at other larger schools. Our academic programs will equip you with critical thinking and reasoning skills, plus high verbal and written abilities. These skills and abilities will give you extraordinary career agility once you graduate. If you're not sure what to major in, we offer academic pathways, which are clusters of academic programs with overlapping research or creative interest, related coursework, or similar career paths that allow students to explore an area of interest while also helping them stay on track to graduate on time and save tuition dollars. No matter your major, there's no excuse not to be successful at Fairmont State University. Our tutoring and testing center services are free. Individual tutoring, group tutoring, and walk-in tutoring services are available at no cost to our students. With no cap on the number of hours, last year our tutoring center provided over a thousand hours of tutoring to our students. Here are a few of our top majors. With so many programs, it is hard to pick just a few out as top programs, but these are typically the programs that tip garner the most attention. And that's nursing, and then our business and aviation programs, education and exercise science, criminal justice and national security and intelligence, engineering, forensics, and natural sciences. And here are some of our more unique programs. Community health education students learn to promote positive health behaviors and prevent disease by educating communities and individuals. National security and intelligence. The students in that program um, learn to uh, learn the tools they need to pursue careers as research or intelligence analysts. Our flight school offers tracks in professional flight as well as aviation management. And then our architecture program teaches students design, introductory studies in architectural history and theory and building technology. Participating in a club or organization is not only a great way to explore a field you love, but it also helps you build friendships that might last a lifetime. Fairmont State has over 60 clubs and organizations, so you're sure to find one that scratches your itch, whether you're into art, politics, sports, outdoor adventure, or a club related to your major. Some of our most popular student organizations include Student Government Association and Chi Alpha. And if you don't find the club you're looking for, no problem. You can create your own. Fairmont State also has a vibrant and active Greek life community with three fraternities and three sororities. We offer dozens of intramural activities, including solo and team sports. We also offer club sports where our teams compete against club teams from other schools. Our club sports include cheer, dance, track, men's rugby, women's volleyball, and women's rugby. With a combined 17 sports for men and women, the Falcons and the fans who cheer them on take on all challengers in the NCAA Division II Mountain East Conference. 
And the best part is all Fairmont State students get free admission to all athletic events with a valid student ID. Fairmont State University not only has one of the lowest tuition rates in the state, but because we have such stellar outcomes, our value is also unmatched. We offer one of the lowest tuitions in the state and region, plenty of financial aid, academic programs that are structured to help you graduate on time, and unique academic programs you won't find anywhere else. We'll help you earn a degree that leads to an in-demand career. We offer several scholarships for first-time freshmen, we have a general scholarship application that typically opens up in November. All it takes is one application and one essay to apply for all of Fairmont State scholarships. We also offer the Alumni Legacy Scholarship for the children of our Falcon alumni. And these are just a few of the scholarships available, so please explore fairmontstate.edu slash scholarships for more information. Pennsylvania students qualify for a discounted version of our out-of-state tuition, our Metro rate. Our Metro rate tuition is $16,814 with a discount, so minus $5,207. So the Metro rate tuition is $11,607. The estimated room and meal plan is $8,784, and that varies a little bit based on the room and meal plan you select, for a total of $20,391 per year. Here's the contact information for our financial aid office. They're super helpful and able to help students understand their financial aid options. If you like what you're seeing and hearing, applying to Fairmont State University is fast and easy. The full list is on our website at fairmontstate.edu slash apply, but here's a quick rundown of what you'll need. For first time freshmen, we'll need your high school transcript with at least a 2.0 high school GPA. Your official college transcript if college credit or dual enrollment credit was earned during high school and then your immunization records. Please note that in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, Fairmont has waived test scores, ACT or SAT for general admission. It is still recommended that students complete the SAT or ACT as test scores may help you take advantage of merit-based scholarships and student aid programs. For full admissions requirements, please go to fairmontstate.edu slash apply. And remember, we do not charge an application fee. It's free to apply. And for transfer students, we'll just need your official college transcripts and a 2.0 overall college GPA. If your transfer if you are transferring fewer than 24 hours, you must also meet the general admissions requirements for first time freshmen. And now I'll go over some upcoming dates and times that we have coming up. We do wanna invite you to join us between November 8th and 14th as we provide presentations, panels, and open discussion on all things Fairmont State, including academic presentations, meet your future professors with over 80 programs of study represented sessions on financial aid, housing and student services, admissions, campus safety and COVID-19, as well as honors, clubs, organizations, daily life and more. And that's gonna be our maroon and white week. And like I said, it's happening November 8th through the 14th. And it's your chance to explore Fairmont State University. And this event is designed for students of all ages and their families. Transfers, high school students, adult learners and beyond will find beneficial sessions to attend. We also have informa information sessions each Tuesday at 5 p.m. And those are our Discover Fairmont State information sessions. We have live chat on our website Monday through Friday from eight to four. And then we also are working on opening our campus back up for tours and we'd love to see you on campus soon. But in the meantime, you can check out our virtual tour at fairmontstate.edu slash video tour. We would love to connect with you after today's presentation. In addition to the contact information on the screen now, we offer a live chat on our website Monday through Friday from eight to four. If you're not quite ready to apply, but would still like more information, I encourage you to fill out the form on our website for more information, which is the link underneath the fairmontstate.edu slash admit. And that is just a sign up for more information form. And if you fill out the form, I can send you some more information after the visit. And finally, the last slide will feature my contact information, email, office phone. 
as well as cell phone. So you can email, call, or text message me. So sorry. To take the next steps to become part of the Falcon family. We look forward to welcoming you home to Fairmont State and showing you why Fairmont State University is your next step towards your life and career goals. And then this is my contact information. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. And then that is the end of my presentation. That's all I have. Thank you all so much for watching this. I don't, since you don't have anybody, do you want to stay on at all for any reason? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Again, please take the opportunities to sign up and uh, sit in on additional sessions or view, pre -re or view the recorded sessions that are on our website. Thank you so much and have a great day. Have a good afternoon. All right. You too. Thank you so much. Bye.